In this sum, we need to compute the FFT for the sequence x of n is equal to n plus 1 where capital N is equal to 8 using the DIF in place radix 2 decimation in frequency algorithm. So they have given the input sequence as x of n is equal to n plus 1 and capital N is equal to 8. So the values will be from 0 to 7. Substitute the value of n as 0 first. So 0 plus 1 will give us 1. Then uh, we have to substitute the value for n is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1 will give us 2. Similarly we need to substitute the value still n is equal to 7. So we will get the sequence as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now, in order to find the DFT using the DIF algorithm, we have to take x of n in the actual order and the output which is x of k in the bit reversal order. Now, we need to draw the tabular column with the binary digits in the normal order, the terms, binary digits in the reversed order and the reverse terms. Over here, we had 8 input sequences, so we need to use 3 binary digits. So, we will write from 0 till 7. So we will have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now we need to reverse these digits. When we reverse 0, 0, 0, we will again have 0, 0, 0. So it will be x of 0. When we reverse 0, 0, 1, we will have 1, 0, 0 for which the value is x of 4. Similarly, it is done, the reversal of terms is done for the remaining binary digits and we will get the reverse terms as x of 0, x of 4, x of 2, x of 6, x of 1, x of 5, x of 3 and x of 7. So these will be the reverse terms. Now we need to know about the twiddle factors. Over here the input sequence is 8. Now we need to write that 8 in powers of 2. 2 to the power 3 will give us 8 and this power 3 determines the number of stages. So we have 3 stages in this sum. For stage 1, the twiddle factors are W80, W81, W82 and W83 for which these are the values. And for stage 2, we have W40 and W41 for which the values are 1 and minus J. And for the third stage, we have W20 for which the value is 1. Now for stage 1, we have to draw 8 pairs of points because we had 8 inputs, so we need to draw 8, eight pairs of points. Now we have to join the first 4 points with the last 4 points and the last 4 with the first 2. After joining, this is how the stage 1 will look. Now for stage 2, you will have to take the, f uh, uh, now for stage 2 have four, uh, 2, 4 pairs of points, that is take this as the first pair and this as the second pair. So in the first pair what you do is take the first 2 uh, points and join with the last 2 and the last 2 with the first 2. So similarly for this part of the X, you join the first 2 with the last 2 and the last 2 points with the first 2 points. After joining, this is how the stage 2 will look. For stage 3, you will have 4x. That is, uh, this will be 1x. These two points will form 1x. These two points will form the other x. This will form the third x and this will form the fourth x. So after joining, we will have 4x. Now we need to take the input in the actual order and also we have to take the twiddle factors. The twiddle factors will be written at the bottom of each x. So as you can see, this is the first x. This makes a complete x. So at the bottom, over here you need to write the twiddle factors for which it is w80, w81, w82 and w83 and write their corresponding twiddle factor values. Now take the first x. In order to do the dif, we have to calculate the top part of the x as a plus b and the bottom part of the x as a minus b the whole into the twiddle factor. So now let's take the first x. For the first x we have the values 1 and 5. So 1 plus 5 will give us 6. Now in order to calculate the bottom part we have to do 1 minus 5 which will give us minus 4. Minus 4 into the twiddle factor which is 1 so we will have 
minus 4 into 1 which will give us minus 4. Similarly, you need to do the same calculation for the remaining 3 x's. Over here, the output of stage 1 will be taken as the input for stage 2. So over here, take the we have to write the twiddle factors at the bottom of each x. So we have the twiddle factors W40 and W41. Over here also you need to include W40 and W41. And you have to calculate using the DIF method. That is, for the top part it will be A plus B. And for the bottom part it will be A minus B the whole into the twiddle factor. So let's take the first x over here. We have the values 6 and 10. So, the top part will be 6 plus 10 which will give us 16 and the bottom part will be 6 minus 10 which is minus 4 into the twiddle factor which is 1. So, we will have minus 4 into 1 as minus 4. Similarly, you have to repeat for all the remaining x. The output from the stage 2 will be taken as the input for stage 3. So, over here we have the twiddle factor for stage 3 as W20. So, you need to include that at the bottom of each x. So, we will have W20 here, W20 here and at this part and also this part of the x. Now, we need to calculate using this form that is at the top part it is A plus B and for the bottom part of the x it is A minus B the whole into the twiddle factor. So, let's take this x. So, the top part will be 16 plus 20 which will give us 36 and the bottom part will be 16 minus 20 which is minus 4 into the twiddle factor which is 1. So, we will get minus 4 into 1 as minus 4. Similarly, the same procedure is done for the remaining x. Now the output is taken in the bit reversal order which is this value is x of 0 then we have to write the value of x of 4 then x of 2 then the value of x of 6 then x of 1, x of 5, x of 3 and x of 7. 